Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, hi everybody. Welcome back to Talking Comics. We're back! Yay! Yay! Jenny's back! I am back. Super excited. <laughs> you missed us, don't lie. It's been a while since we've done one of these. So we decided to do a mega, mega review. Mega. mega. We've never done this before. <clears throat> we're, we're reviewing a whole graphic novel, a trade paperback of Outcast number one. This is a, it's um, a horror comic. It's a spooky comic. So I couldn't sleep last night after it. <laughs> I don't think it's like super spooky. It has like some kind of creepy elements to it, but it's not like you can't walk near your bed because your scared hands are going to come out and grab your ankles. It's written by Robert Kirkman and um, drawn by Paul as a, as a setta, as a setta. <laughs> I don't know if we I say that right. really pronounce his name correctly. I have actually never heard of anything that he's done aside from this now yeah amazing art it's like, super gritty and and it has dark elements to it it's about this guy that um ah! his backstory is very vague you know um you know a bad thing happened where it has to do with um his mom being possessed by a demon and his wife being possessed by a demon so um and he's kind of um now living on his own he's no longer with his wife um and his mom is in a in a what is it like, like a, a hospice yeah. in home care she's like comatose but he doesn't really talk about what happened why it happened but everybody blames him for it and everybody thinks it's his fault why his wife got hurt his daughter got hurt or his mom got hurt and so on and it's there's not so much um action and gore and all that but it there's a lot of talking. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of talking. Kirkman, everyone is probably very familiar with mm -hmm. a comic that he did. I think it's called The Walking Dead. Zombies. I'm not sure. Some of the zombies. <laughs> I've never heard of it before. It's not one of the most popular things that ever came out. But if you've if you've read some of his stuff, he tends to go really in depth in the dialogue and the talking and everything. I think one of the reasons why you get such like this eerie feeling reading this comic is the storytelling and the art go so well together the art is kind of minimal but there's lots of um like uh, bold colors and uh, and shadowing like and super super crazy shadowing you don't, on everything you don't see fine details which kind of leaves a lot more to your imagination that's always been one of my favorite things with a lot of horror comics i like like a uh, hellboy for instance like you don't really see any of the demons or anything you see the people possessed but you see like shadows of their face and just not not too much there's a little but like yeah it was it's the creepy grin yeah it was good i don't even buy trade paper reacts. she knows <laughs> but i would buy this so jenny you have to give a high five i'm so excited oh, like... should be like a like hardcore devil horn mm -hmm. Type of high five. All right, let's go. Please don't hit it very hard because I feel like it's gonna hurt. This from up here. Yeah! Uh, lightning. <laughs> ah! You can find us on Facebook under Heroes and Millions Tucson. <laughs> uh, Tumblr and Twitter and Instagram under H and B Comics. Thanks everyone. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.